and welcome joy friends to this special video as I share um, the 3d granny squares book it has a hundred crochet patterns for pop-up granny squares and it is by Katie Moore Sharna Moore and Celine Simon Seaman all right um, yeah I keep my books in these cute little sturdy sleeves that I got from the dollar store. I have no affiliation to the dollar store. I am not necessarily promoting them. I am just simply sharing where I got the sleeve to keep my book in. To keep it from getting messed up and to keep it nice and straight um, and not getting bent because it is a paperback, a paperback book. All right. So 3D Granny Squares. This book is really great. I have seen this book around. I've seen um, several different people making the 3D Granny Squares around the YouTube community. And one day when I was just looking for some books that I wanted to expand my crochet craft library with, I came across this book and I was like, you know what, now is the time. So I went ahead and got it and I'm really, really excited about it. I'm not going to be able to show you as many of the pictures as I would like to because of the fact that the patterns are on the page and it's really difficult to show it to you. But I will tell you that along with the written pattern, it does have a graph chart for each of these squares as well. And as you can see some of these squares on the front and they are indeed 3D. You can see the rainbow and the sheep and the lion. Um, here are a few more on the back. You can see the cow and the teddy bear, the llama. You can see they've got some motifs that are circles. There's the sun. There's holiday squares in here for Christmas and uh, Easter and so forth. But there's so many cool little designs. Um, I wish I could really go through and show you all of them. Again, it's very hard because the patterns are on the um, page. But I'm going to do my best just to give you a sneak peek. Some of the projects in here using uh, these granny squares are pillows, blankets, um, coasters, pot holders, pin cushions. Um, in fact, the pin cushion is one of my favorites. I, I will try to show you that. But let me just see what I can show you. So the first section um, has food in it. And I'm going to see if I can just kind of barely show you. Like there's a, an ice cream cone. Over there is a cookie. Sadly, the, the, the uh, pictures are right there. Here's a waffle and a cupcake. Um, let's see, we've got a pizza and a piece of candy. And let's see what else we have. We also go into, there's fruits. And here's some of our animals. We've got a sheep and the pig. We've got the bunny and the mouse. Um, there's the llama again. Here's a rabbit and a puppy dog. And there's just all kinds of cute little animals throughout this. Here's a cat and an owl. <laughs> all right. The chicken and the bear. Got a crab. And it says terrapin, but turtle. All right. 
and we've got a fish in a shell and they're in here by themes here's flip flops and a spider not really sure how the flip flops go into the the animals but <laughs> and we got the beehive and the butterfly so cute. <laughs> uh, the frog and the snail. And again, I'm not going through all of them, but I am giving you enough of an idea to see. And then we have different types of flower motifs in here. They've got quite a few different flowers in here. So there's a look at two of them. And here's the rose and the sunflower. And let's see if we can look at some of the holiday ones. And they do have different types of shapes. Here's a cloud, but, but there's that little really cool wobbly square. That's really different. Here's some more cute little designs. I call it the spike in the bobble. Here's a popcorn in the circle. All right, here's a turkey and Santa's belt. And a present and Rudolph. And then we've got um, a wreath and Easter eggs is what those are. and an ornament and a Christmas tree. So yeah, there's a lot of exciting 3D granny squares in here. And I'm gonna see if I can find the pin cushion project to show you. Hopefully there's nothing on here. They even show you how to make a cute little um, like toy block for a baby. Here's the penguin and the flamingo. <laughs> They're so cute. <laughs> Here's a whale and a shark. I mean, there's just so many cute 3D granny squares through here. So hopefully that will help get you excited. Oh my gosh, you've got to see this turtle. Look at that little turtle with the starfish. Oh my goodness. So hopefully that is enough of a taste for you to see if this is something that you might be excited in getting and adding to your library. Um, again, I'm looking for the pin cushion. Oh, that's a pretty pillow. I hadn't seen that one. It was done with um, a lot of the flower granny squares. Let me see if I can show that. Let me go back to it. Again, some of them have patterns on the page. All right, it's on this page, it's showing you how to put it together, but maybe I can bring it up. There we go. See how cute that is? All right, let me see if I can find that pin cushion. It is really, really cute. Ah. Look at the ladybug and the dragonfly. Are you getting excited? This takes granny squares to a whole new level. Oh, I'm looking for the teapot 
pin cushion. Here's the child's toy that I was telling you about, where you can put them together to create a child's block. Cube. Um, there's coasters. Here we go. This is too cute. The teapot pin cushion. Isn't that adorable? I love it, love it, love it. So again, this is the 3D granny squares, 100 crochet patterns for pop-up granny squares. And I really, really like this book. It says that this is a David and Charles book. Um, in the U.S., it's $22.99. Again, I did not pay that much for it on Amazon. I do not remember how much I paid for it, but I know I did not pay that full price. So, anyway. Well, if you enjoyed this video, looking through this 3D Granny Squares, I hope it made you excited. And hopefully it gave you an insight on whether or not you would like to add this to your library. Um, but yeah, if you enjoyed it, please give me a joy thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate the support and be joyful, stay crafty in your own way, make your own joyful creations and above everything else, be humble and kind. And I will see you somewhere around the community or in the next video. Bye everyone. <music>